welcome to the session number 3.3 of the tia portal training in this session we are going to learn how we can make a small program for the box filler machine before starting i would like you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials today we have a box filler machine to program this machine starts the process with the start push button i0.6 and stops with the push button i0.7 it has a conveyor to transport the box this conveyor runs with the plc output q0.0 box presence at the filling station is confirmed by the box sensor i0.0 once the box is at the filling station the filling valve q0.1 opens and start filling the liquid in the box. Once the box is filled, the fill level is confirmed by the level sensor I0.1. The filling wall closes and conveyor starts again to remove the filled box and bring in the next empty box under the filling nozzle. So that's the setup for the today's tutorial. Let's go to the TIA portal software and see that for the today's tutorial. Now let's see the program for the today's session. In the network number one, we have a start logic. So we have a start push button, I0.6. So whenever we press the start push button, it should turn on the M0.0 auto start bit. And we can turn off this M0.0 auto start bit by pressing I0.7 start push button. In the network number two, we have a logic to start and stop the conveyor. So first of all, we will insert the auto start bit M0.0. So whenever the M0.0 start bit is on, it should turn on the conveyor Q0.0. And this conveyor should only stop when the box is present under the filling station confirmed by the box sensor I0.0. So you can see that we have used the normal close contact. So whenever the box comes under the filling station or the filling nozzle, it's sensed by the sensor I0.0 and this normal close contact will open up and it will stop our conveyor Q0.0. In the network number 3, we have a logic to open and close the fill valve. So first of all, we will insert the auto start bit M0.0 and when the box is present in front of this sensor I0.0 and on the rising edge of this sensor i0.0 it should latch on our fill valve q0.1 and it will start pouring liquid into our box and once the fill level is achieved it is confirmed by this level sensor i0.1 we have used the normal close contact so once the fill level is achieved this normal close contact will open up and it will turn off the output q0.1 for the fill valve and fill valve will be closed in the network number four we have the logic to start the conveyor after the box is filled so we have auto start bit m0.0 and once this level sensor turns on confirms that the box is filled it should turn on this bit m2.0 box is filled and we have insert its normal open contact in parallel to this one so it will latch on the bit m2.0 and we will insert this bit in parallel with this box sensor in this network number two so what it will do it will start our conveyor once again to remove the field box from the station as you can see that this m2.0 bit is latched on so once the box cleared the sensor i0.0 this this bit will be opened up and it will unlatch this m0.2 boxes filled bit as now the box has moved away from the sensor i0.0 box sensor this normal close contact will be again closed and it will keeps running our conveyor motor q0.0 so this is the logic for the today's project we will upload this project into the plc and let's see how does it works as soon as we press the start push button i0.6 
it hold on the auto start bit m0.0 in the network one and this auto start bit m0.0 turns on the convey motor q0.0 and box starts to move towards the filling station as the box comes in front of the sensor i0.0 on the rising edge it's hold on the filling valve q0.1 in the network 3 and liquid starts filling inside the box through the nozzle as the liquid reaches the fill level the level sensor i0.1 turns on a normal close contact of the level sensor i0.1 unlatch the filling valve q0.1 and stops the filling as the level sensor i0.1 turns on it also holds on the m0.2 bit in the network 4 to indicate the filled box this bit m2.0 turns on the conveyor q0.0 in the network 1 to move the box forward and exit the conveyor the conveyor 0.0 keeps on running and bring the empty box under the filling nozzle and the whole cycle repeat itself that's the end of the today's video tutorial i hope you liked today's video do share like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials